The message that we're getting everywhere now is that we need to reduce our intake of sugar. It's estimated that the average American is ingesting 160 pounds of sugar every year. Not only is sugar empty calories, but evidence suggests that large amounts of table sugar and high fructose corn syrup may trigger processes that can lead to liver toxicity and many other chronic diseases. Some popular alternatives to sugar are maple syrup, agave nectar, coconut sugar, erythritol, stevia, sucralose and aspartame. Now aspartame is an extremely controversial sugar-free sweetener. Despite the concerns that aspartame may cause cancer and neurological disorders, it's still one of the most popular artificial sweeteners available on the market. In fact, chances are you or someone you know has consumed an aspartame-containing diet soda within the past 24 hours. According to Dr. Michael Greger, there are only two sweeteners that are healthy for us, so let's find out what they are. Before listening to the next clip, why don't you pause the video and put your two guesses in the description below. This clip comes from Dr. Greger's June 2019 Q&A. The question was about blackstrap molasses, which led to Dr. Greger telling us the two healthiest sweeteners. The link is in the description below. What are your thoughts on blackstrap molasses? Is it green light to be taken for health benefits or is it more amber light to be used only as a condiment when needed? Thank you. There are really only two kind of green light sweeteners. Um, one is uh, a date sugar or date syrup. It's made from whole dates. Anything So date sugar is just powdered pulverized dates, a whole food. And uh, two is blackstrap molasses. You say, wait a second, that's a processed food. It should be amber light. It's actually processed in a way to make it healthier. It's like cocoa powder. So cocoa powder is a green light food. But wait a second, it's been processed. Yeah, it's been processed. So take the cocoa butter out. Um, which can actually raise your cholesterol. So same thing, like, so blackstrap molasses is basically sugar cane without the sugar or with a lot of sugar extracted. That's kind of what's left over after you make sugar from sugar cane. And so it's really nutrient rich, lots of iron, lots of good stuff. It's a strong taste, but I love it. So I use it to sweeten things where the taste is okay. So, you know, I can use an oatmeal or something, but I wouldn't use it to sweeten tea or something because I think it would just overpower the tea. But hey, if you like blackstrap molasses and tea, more power to you. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.